Welcome back to the Teeniest Pinecone, it's Jess, and I'm back. And I'm trying something new today. This will be the first spread that I have used watercolor in. I'm using the bottom two black and gray from my Artist Loft palette that you can get at any craft store. I'm pretty sure I got mine at Michael's. And here I am taking my Van Gogh washi tapes from the washi tape shop to outline this box that my quote of the month is going to go in. I should probably give myself more space to have a legitimate introduction to talk about life and stuff, but um, mistakes were made. But since I am a complete novice when it comes to watercolor, and I'm not really using any kind of legitimate technique, I will take this opportunity to explain to you where the heck I've been for the last three months. I have literally been ill since New Year's Eve. Yes, it is the beginning of April. And I am still sick. Better, but sick. With some mystery virus that is not COVID, but is super annoying and wreaked havoc on my vocal cords. So doing stuff like this uh, was pretty much impossible. And I was so exhausted and fatigued most of the time. I had no energy or brain power to come up with spreads for you guys. So this is only the second monthly spread in my journal. But a week or so ago, I was finally, finally feeling better and well enough to sit down at my desk and record one for you. And I was really missing journaling. I just felt completely lost without it these months. Adrift in an aimless sea, to quote Claire Fraser. So many thanks for being patient with me. I've had a few questions um, about where I've been and when I'm coming back. Well, the answer is here, now, today. As long as I continue on the up, I will admit that um, every time I've started to feel like I'm getting better, my health has kind of taken a nosedive again and I have had to kind of um, embark on the recovery process all over again. So I feel like I've been well enough at this point that it is a sure thing, but if that changes, I will let you know. I feel really bad about um, just leaving you in the dark. So if I have to take a break again, I'll definitely post on Instagram or a community post here on YouTube. Um, so you'll at least be updated about that. So now that that is out of the way, on to the actual video. For this month's quote, I have used, the most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity by Amelia Earhart. And I relate to this so hard in my own life, but especially the last couple of months when I've been so sick and really needed to get my button gear to start knocking these out again. I used my Uniball Gold Gel Pen for the quote, as well as my white gel pen for her name, my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen for the April font, and now I am just going back in with that gold gel pen to draw in some foliage, some leaves. I really, really, really love the contrast between the gray and the gold. So you may see this color scheme again down the road. Next is the calendar spread, and I'm going back in with my washi tape and um, marking off all the edges because I'm going to paint the outside of it again with that gray and black color. What I've noticed about using watercolor on the bujo paper is that it dries almost immediately, which is a blessing and a curse. I like that I didn't have to wait a super long time to do the next thing but it also meant that I could not really blend anything. So, and considering that I also just don't use watercolor ever when I do anything artsy, um, this is definitely a learning curve. So you're seeing in real time how not perfect this process is. I also wanted to give it the appearance of dark storm clouds because that's kind of how it's been where I live. So definitely inspired by the weather here in the Midwest and the super quick drying time actually served that purpose pretty well. So I've just gone back in with my gold gel pen to write the month of April, and then back in with my white gel pen to write in the days of the week. 
You will also see pretty quickly how big of a mistake I made on this spread. Um, I go in to write my to-do and note sections with my 08 Sakura Micron Fine Liner and draw in a few accent lines with a Staedtler liner in 0.2. And here I've taken my smallest paintbrush, also by Artist Loft, to section out the days of the week. And have you guessed it yet? Can you tell? I go back in with that same gold gel pen, writing in the dates of the month, and get to right here and realize I've added a completely extra week. But thankfully it was a pretty easy fix and it wouldn't be a teeniest pinecone bujo spread without something of that fashion happening. So I took a bigger brush, went back in with the black and gray colors, mixed them together to uh, just cover up the white squares and make some more of those storm looking clouds. It's actually exactly what the sky looks like as I'm recording this, and we are expecting thunderstorms tonight, so I'd say this is a pretty apt theme. Also, in trying to rectify my previous mistake, I go ahead and make another one by painting over the one box I could have left. But that was also a pretty easy fix. I just tore a scrap of paper from the back of my journal, cut it to size, and pasted it on, and you really can't tell, especially in the video. And after all that, we are completing the spread with some more golden laurels, which ended up covering the evidence of those mistakes quite nicely. Now we are on the habits and mood trackers, and of course I'm just going in with these dark watercolors again to frame the corners top speed this time because I think we've seen enough of my shoddy technique by now. And I'm doing what I did here for the mini calendar on the first page uh, where I'm just taking my smallest brush and filling them all in with this lighter gray and over the course of the month, I'll dot it with a gold gel pen whenever I complete a habit that day. For this month's mood tracker, I've drawn a circle for each day of the month, and each day will be filled in with watercolor of a varying shade of gray. Now, I realized after doing this that I had kind of already done the same thing in my January spread of last year and had kind of a difficult time looking back and seeing which mood specifically I was because all the shades kind of blended together after a while. So it may be that I end up changing the color scheme. We'll see. I'm using the same technique on the brain dump spread as I did on the calendar spread, just outlining the shape of it with my washi tape again and painting around it. I love doing this even with my Tombows because the crisp lines you get when you pull the washi tape off is just so incredibly satisfying. Look at that. What's not to love? The header is super simple, just using my Uniball white gel pen to write brain dump at the top. And then after filling in the surrounding space with more golden laurels at top speed again, uh, we're calling it a spread. And of course the last spread is the weekly and much like the um, title spread, I am boxing off the days of the week as I go and filling them in with the lighter gray watercolor. Here I am writing in the days with my 08 fine liner again. And we're finishing it off with pretty much everything else being accented in this gold gel pen again. And we have arrived 
arrived at the final flip through. I had a lot of fun trying something new this month and really think I'm gonna incorporate watercolors in future spreads. It's certainly not perfect, but that is not what bullet journaling is about. Always keep that in mind. But I'm so glad to be back. I missed you. Links and Instagram are down in the description, as always. See you next time.